Culver City based TikTok is being sued again. This suit filed Friday in LA County Superior Court alleges the social media giant conceals the dangers of its app, especially to children. KKL 9's Lori Perez joins us with more on the tragedy that's led to this latest complaint. Lori. Now, Ross, this lawsuit is taking a little bit of a different strategy. The families of two little girls say TikTok caused their deaths by pushing dangerous challenges. Attorneys in this case are making arguments about the way TikTok is designed instead of focusing on content. Eight-year-old Leilani Walton, nine-year-old Ariana Arroyo, two little girls, fatal victims, attorney Matthew Bergman says, of TikTok's dangerous design. You wouldn't put your 16 year old child in a car with 400 horsepower, no seat belts, and bad brakes. Well, it's the, kind of the same thing. Uh, you wouldn't put a child uh, in an environment, in, in a virtual uh, environment such as TikTok, uh, that uh, exposes them uh, to such uh, dangerous uh, materials. Bergman's six month old social media victims law center represents the families of the two girls who died after attempting the so called blackout challenge, where people are dared to choke themselves to uncover consciousness. A lawsuit filed Friday in LA County against TikTok with its headquarters in Culver City and its parent company ByteDance alleges the app's algorithms exploit users under 18 whose brains aren't developed enough to control their impulses or emotions. Bergman says TikTok hides the dangers to children and parents. They deliberately target children, even children under 13. Uh, they design products to be addictive and particularly addicted to children. We're all in favor of uh, parental responsibility, but the, pro the problem is these social media products are intentionally designed to evade and thwart parental responsibility. Dangerous and destructive dares have shown up on TikTok and other apps for years. In Huntington Beach in April, a minor was cited by police for shooting another minor in the face with a gel water pellet, part of an online trend seen in these videos. And students in Santa Clarita schools last year trashed bathrooms as part of a viral social media stunt. TikTok's terms and conditions require users to be at least 13 years old. This page on its website asks users to consider if a challenge is harmful before trying it. But Bergman says that's not nearly enough. He wants the site and others to moderate content based on age. It cannot be coincidental that there has been so many children uh, eight, nine, ten year old children uh, that have been confronted with the, this blackout challenge. I mean, wh what is it about the design of an algorithm that connects children to this kind of dangerous content? I mean, and not, you know, elephants and moonbeams. He is not alone in thinking companies can do more. California lawmakers are right now considering two bills focused on how social media companies connect with children. One would require every website to actually verify a viewer's age before allowing access. The other would allow parents to sue social media companies if their children get addicted. Ross, back to you. All right.